Hey, what's up guys? This is Crafty Fox, and today we're going to be building an EMD SD50 diesel locomotive. Now, this is actually from the Seaboard System Railroad, which was pretty short-lived in the 1980s for a couple of years before it was finally absorbed by CSX Transportation. So this is actually a commission by Zachary Plant. He commissioned two other locomotives that I just posted the tutorials of, and this is like the final locomotive. And yeah, this is pretty much what it looks like. I did a lot of detail on it, so it looks really nice. And also one thing that I changed uh, for these EMD SD locomotives, uh, I actually moved up like the fences in the front uh, and also in the back so they stick out a little bit because I think they are a little bit on angle and also so that I have room to move up the hood for this locomotive. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy the build and let's get started. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to take out another brick stairs and we're going to add three blocks wide and we're going to make the sides cornered and upside down another brick stairs on the sides. The middle we're going to add three blocks wide of gray concrete and we want to make it a two by three. Then on the sides we're going to add upside down another brick stairs. And then we're going to go to this back section and uh, we need to add black concrete. We're going to make it two by three. And then we're going to add um, another brick wall, which I don't seem to have, so let me grab it. So add that. And then we're going to add black concrete, another brick wall, actually two nether brick walls, and then black concrete, and then another brick wall. Do the same thing on the other side. And then the middle, just fill that in with black concrete all the way across. All right, so next, we're going to take out um, oak slab. Let's go on this side. And we're going to add the steps. So we're going to add three of them like this. Goes up like that. And the other side, do the same thing. In the middle, we're going to take gray concrete. Add that in the inside part like that. All right, so next we're going to add in some wheels. So next we're going to take gray terracotta, go down here and add the wheels like that with a dark oak stairs right behind it. And that's going to be one wheel. And we're going to skip a block and add another wheel. And then we're going to add another wheel. I'm sorry, I'm having trouble placing that. And skip a block and add another wheel here. All right, so next we're going to take out another brick block, add it in between where the stairs are for each of the wheels, and these are the traction motors. And then we're going to take out dark oak fence gates, add that in between the wheels, and also add that to the front of these stairs on the sides. Same thing on the other side. All right, cool. And then we're going to add hoppers to the sides of all the wheels. And then we're going to take out another brick stairs. Starting from the back section. Oh, sorry, grabbed the wrong block. Starting from the back section above this fence gate, let's add another brick stairs facing the back. Upside down one in front of it. And then another brick slab. Then another brick. Uh, stairs upside down here and then right side up in front of it and then we want to keep this pattern over here do the same thing but once we reach this part here above this hopper that's going to be um, a stone brick stairs upside down instead so I'm trying to place that there and it's a little, it's a little bit tricky so I guess I'll place it from the top like that so you should have this pattern and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, just upside down, facing the back stairs, then a slab, then these two stairs, then a slab, then these two stairs again. All right. So once we do that, there is also going to be a bell on this end. So that's just going to be another brick wall right here, just on this side. Inside, we're going to add three blocks wide, another brick slabs like that. And then for the fuel tank, we're going to take out gray concrete. I'm going to make it 
uh, 10 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 10. And I'm going to make it three blocks wide, like so. All right, so next we're going to take out another brick slab, and we're going to add three other slabs on the front. And in the back, there's going to be another brick stairs facing the back. And I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side. Then in between these, the stairs and the slab, we're going to fill that in with gray concrete. Same thing over here. And then we're going to take out upside down another brick stairs. Just go all the way across the bottom of the fuel tank and go to the other side do the same thing and then for this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make the other bogey since some people they have some trouble with doing the symmetrical stuff anyways we're going to fill this in with gray concrete in the middle fuel tank and then we're going to add three blocks wide another brick slab here and we're going to start off making the other bogey so we're just doing like the opposite uh, like a mirrored image of that the front area so there's going to be um, another brick wall here and then there's going to be um, black concrete two nether brick walls black concrete another brick wall and then two black concretes in the middle just go all the way across with black concrete and the other side we'd copy that pattern sort of like one two one and then these two at the end like that all right and then we're going to add in the wheels down below, so take out our uh, gray terracotta. And we're going to go um, line it up with this black concrete. Just add that gray terracotta right there. Just a pair on top of the tracks. And then we're going to uh, take out dark oak uh, stairs and add it right before it. Then we're going to skip a block and add a stairs and dark oak, or not dark oak, I mean gray terracotta, and then skip a block, stairs, and then gray terracotta. So you got those wheels on that side and do the wheels on the other side. And then we're going to connect them together with dark oak fence gates in the middle and fence gates on the side of the stairs other side same thing and if you've been watching my other tutorial I put a uh, fence gates on the inside part of here but I believe that's not even necessary anymore I'm not gonna do that again alright so next we're gonna take out hoppers at the sides of all the wheels like so and then we're to take out um, upside down stone brick stairs add it to the back hopper then another brick stairs facing the front, then a slab, and then two another brick stairs. One's upside down, one's just facing the other side. Then a slab, and then two more stairs. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So stairs, slab, and then two stairs, slab, two stairs, making that C shape like that. So you got C, C, C. All right, now for the end, we're going to take out gray terracotta, and we're going to make a T-shape in the back, like that. And then for the back area, you can see like there's sort of like this stripe pattern with the white and the gray or a black. So we're going to take out quartz at the sides, and add one quartz in the middle, underneath. Then we're going to add gray ter, no gray concrete on the sides of that. And the very edge, we're going to add in another brick uh, stairs on top, court stairs facing outwards, upside down on the underside, like so. Then we're going to add the coupling, which is just a dark oak slab with trip wire hooks. And let's add a lever underneath it. Alright, so we're going to go back in the front, and let's add... A dark oak slab here, trip wire hooks on the sides, and we're going to replace this middle area with a quartz block because there's a little bit of that um, white and gray um, stripe pattern in the front, but like the plow actually blocks part of it. So that's just the part that's showing. 
Now we're going to take out three blocks wide of stone slab right on top of the edge right there. And I'm going to add it right above uh, that stairs on the side. And do the same thing on the other side. Like so. And let's add an oak slab on the inside part like that. And go to back to the front area. And let's work a bit on the hood. So for the hood area, we're going to take out cyan terracotta. We're going to make it like a V shape here. And on the sides, we're going to make it two blocks taller. And make a V on top. So I got this hole here. And the, the reason why we have this hole is so we can make the logo, which is basically like the yellow and red stripe. So for the yellow, we're going to add oak slab on the top here. And behind it, we're going to add a red concrete block. So it shows both colors like that. And then we're going to take out stone buttons, add to the sides, and this is going to be some lights. And now on the side here, there's going to be this special thing here, like a bedrock vent only on this side. So add that here. Add, um, what is this great cyan terracotta on top? And an oak trap door, and this is going to be one of the breaks. Close that up. Then we're going to add in two cyan terracottas after it. And the other side, we're going to make it two by two, then connect the hood together. All right, so next we're going to add five blocks wide, sand terracotta. All right, and for this hood area, we need to add in a black stained glass block. So add that row of three in the middle. Add sand terracotta on the sides. Add black glass on the outer edge. And then white uh, quartz underneath it on the sides for the numbers. Then we're going to add two cyan terracottas on either side. Now in the center, we're going to make a 3x3 three three sand terracotta. And we're, going to, we're going to have one sticking out in the front, like that. Now underneath that, there's going to be a gray glass pane. Let's so add that for the window divider. And also the inside part of this is going to be black concrete. So add a row of three inside. So it's more contrasty unless you're doing it interior. All right, so next we're gonna go um, on the side here. Let's go to add um, a row of cyan terracotta. We're gonna make this so it's gonna be, uh, let's say five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five. And the other side, same thing. Then we're gonna add three cyan terracottas here. So uh, we finished the bottom of the cab. And in that area, we're going to have three blocks wide dark oak buttons at the bottom. Same thing on the other side. And this front little box here, we need to add in stone brick slabs on top. Like so. All right, then we're going to take out dark oak um, fence gates or fence gate. And we're just going to add that on top of that portion that sticks out. And this is going to be the horn. And I'm going to add flower pots on the sides like that. Then the front, we're going to add an oak button for the light. And some bird signs on the side of this. Then we're going to take out a stone brick stairs and add three blocks wide on the sides of the roof. And then we're going to add um, uh, basically like a U shape that's three blocks long of sand terracotta. So like this, in the middle of this U, we want to add in bedrock. Then on the sides, we're going to add three more bedrocks. The middle, we're going to add cyan. And the middle of that cyan, we need to add in these uh, spruce trap doors. So add the row of three here. And then gray carpet covering up this bedrock on the side, but we're going to leave the bedrock in the middle alone. Then underneath uh, where that bedrock is, we're going to add two bedrocks on either side like that. I'm going to take cyan terracotta, add it right underneath this bedrock here, go all the way down right there to the hole. And same thing, just cover up this entire like front section. 
And the other side, I believe it's the same exact thing. So let's do that as well. This goes all the way down. You really don't need to go all the way down, but that's just what I'm doing right now. Just to simplify things. Alright, so next we're going to work on the back a little bit. We've been neglecting that, so I'm going to make a V shape in the back, say Antarctica, two blocks tall. And then we need to add in that logo again, so that's going to be um, basically like a red concrete on the inside part with an oak slab in front. I'm going to add, say, Antarctica, two blocks tall on top, and match up the rest to match it up, I guess. That was like a really bad play of works. All right, next we're gonna um, link up this middle area to the front area. Let's say Antarctica all the way across like that. And then we need to add in these side vents, which are gonna be two blocks tall. And they're going to be, I believe six or seven. I think it's seven blocks long. So two by seven. So one, two, three, four, five six, seven, then the other side, we just do the same thing. All right, and then for the rest, uh, let's, we're, we're gonna add a row on top, say in terracotta, like that. And the middle of this, we're gonna add in some daylight detectors. So there's gonna be three pairs of daylight detectors. And we're gonna make them all blue because uh, blue is a better color. And we're going to cover up this top bedrock with a uh, gray carpet all the way across so that the color blends in more. And underneath it, we're going to add cyan terracotta all the way down here, across, and towards the back. And pretty much this section is pretty plain except some little detail we're going to add. But the majority is just going to be cyan terracotta here. And there also is like a tiny window, I believe, there. All right, so next, what we're going to do um, for this side, we're going to add in another column of Sagan, like that. And then we're going to add uh, four blocks long of quartz on top, then two quartz on the bottom. And then we're going to add two Sagan terracottas here, and then yellow concrete two blocks long with red concrete underneath it. Then we're going to go dangling down and pretty much do the same pattern. So this is like their basic logo. All right. Now for the other side, we have to flip it. All right, so on this side, we're going to repeat the pattern. So uh, before we do that, remember to add the Sayan Terracotta column here. And now we can repeat the pattern. So we're going to add yellow concrete, three blocks down here, two blocks long right underneath it, and then we're going to go dangling up, do the same thing. Then two cyan terracottas, and then four quartz on top, and then two quartz on the bottom. All right, so now what we're going to do, we need to add in this like little platform here on this side. So that's going to line up with the first uh, hopper down here. So just add cyan terracotta on the side and go all the way across towards the front. The other side's going to be different though. So for the other side, let's see what we do. It's just going to be one over there. So just this little tiny <laughs> terracotta right there in that corner. And then for the rest, we're going to add uh, oak slabs all the way across towards the back. Other side, just fill in this middle area here. And we also need to add in these steps for the back. Like that. Same thing on the other side. Very, very nice. All right, so now we're going to add the little tiny detail, which is going to be that quartz block. It's going to line up right after that stone slab, right at the bottom. I noticed a lot of these seaboard system uh, SD50s, they have this, but I've seen like one picture where it doesn't, but I see most of them have it, so that's why I included it. So next, we're going to add a ladder right here at the bottom, and then a stone button on either side on the, on the row above it, 
And then a row above it, we'd add the number plates, which are birth signs, both sides, and a ladder again right there at the top. In the middle, there's going to be a birch fence gate to open up for some lights. All right, it's looking pretty good so far. Now we can fill in the rest of the hole with um, terracotta, I guess. And the other side, same thing. All right, so once we finish that, I'm going to go on the other side, and we're going to add in this little thing that juts out. It's like one of the most... <laughs> I guess iconic things about it or like recognizable characteristics of this locomotive so we're to go to right where this thing this pattern starts and on the bottom we're gonna add acacia stairs two of them like that and the second one's gonna curve then we're gonna add in um, yellow glass pane two blocks wide like that above it two blocks wide of gray glass pane like that and that's Actually, I have no idea what this is. Um, must be like some vent to vent for like the bottom or something. That's why I think it is. Anyways, uh, we need to add in a light gray carpet across the top of this section, all the way across like that. And what else? We also do need to add this three blocks wide of iron trapdoor on the top like that and also on the side we need to add in these like button rivets or something so there's going to be dark oak buttons here just a block of space in between all the way across to reach the bedrock same thing on the other side like so and then we're going to go underneath the bedrock and we're going to add three of them spaced apart other side same thing and actually on this side, we need to replace <laughs> that first one with uh, stone brick stairs facing the front, black concrete on the inside. Just a little tiny window. All right, so next we're gonna add in these buttons here on this side, just um, underneath that other button, a birch button, skip a block, and then the acacia button down there. Alright, it's looking good so far. We now can add in like the door banners. So let's go to our loom, add a black banner with gray dye, and make a border with it. And then put that back and then add uh, the bottom section of gray, like a gray half on the bottom. And I'm going to place that in the front and the back of the cab on both sides. All right, it's looking good so far. Very nice. Usually I would have done like part of like the railing right now, but I left it towards the end. Uh, let's see if there's anything else we can do just before we do that though. Uh, I think we're pretty much done though. So I'm gonna be starting on the railings now. Take out our uh, another brick fence. Go in the back here, just add two blocks tall here. And we're gonna add on the side on top of that nether brick stairs an oak fence like that and this is like the new design it's a little angular so it sticks out a bit and we do the same thing in the front actually like it a lot more all right so then um, on the side at the front we need to add in these two oak fences and then dangling up two nether brick fences same thing on the other side. And then we need a dark oak fence gate on the side here. And next, we're going to go over here and add another brick fence. And go down, down, another brick fence, two blocks tall. Skip a block, and then we're going to add three blocks tall. Skip a block, three blocks tall again. And skip one, then add two blocks tall, and then two blocks tall all the way for the rest, just spaced apart. And that little section that juts out, that's just for like that part with the vent. Uh, once we reach this part here, though, there's going to be an oak fence. All right, so the other side, uh, it's pretty simple. We're just going to add um, another brick fence here. Then another brick fence dangling down two blocks tall, and then 
every other block we need to add it. I just saw a detail which I forgot to add, but I'll add it after this. Just like that little box needs a slab on top. And then oak fence at the back. And then we're going to connect them all together using dark oak fence gates. So let's add that to each of them. Delete the middle. We don't need that part anymore. Other side, same exact thing. We just connect it all on the very top end. Once we reach that part with like the um, three block tall fences, we're just gonna go on the top of that. So for this one, just go on the top and then goes back down like that. All right, so once we added those uh, railings, we're gonna go to this tiny box and we need to add in that stone brick slab right there in that corner like that very nice and let's take a brief overview of this build if we missed anything um, I don't think so I think we pretty much got all of the build done so um, yeah that's actually pretty much it on how to build the EMD SD50 diesel locomotive for the seaboard systems railroad in Minecraft and thanks to the guy who commissioned this Zachary Plant for making this video possible. Now, if you guys like this video, remember to hit that like button down below because it helps grow the channel and subscribe if you haven't already because I'll be uploading more videos such as this in the future. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.